When I asked her, she said she just had a feeling, like a mother's intuition. But all the prenatal tests came back normal. I don't remember anything about what life was like before him, but the other day I found some of my dad's old tapes in the attic. It feels pretty surreal, watching your own life. Oh, your first bath. But it's also invigorating. Those younger years are filled with so much curiosity and wonder. I think for a lot of us that all just expires one day. Like we wake up and realize that chairs aren't that great and we should join everyone else in the ceaseless pursuit of the next thing. For him though, the next wasn't always guaranteed. Do you wanna give a baby a besito? You wanna give oh give a baby oh, oh. Did you get them? Oh you really? likes it. The first thing they noticed was his head size. They used a lot of big medical words when they explained why, but sometimes I wonder if it's because it's all trapped in there. They didn't know if he would ever talk or walk, but that never stopped him from trying. Come on, Tommy, you can do it. Yeah, I know you can do it. Even if it wasn't easy. For a while, we didn't know what was causing it. I think the scariest thing about uncertainty is its enormity. The overwhelming feeling of not knowing what the next day will bring or if there will even be a next day at all. That uncertainty, it never really went away. Not even when we got the diagnosis. It came on his third birthday an extremely rare genetic mutation, one that's pretty hard to pronounce. They told us things weren't going to get any easier for him and they certainly didn't. But rewatching these tapes, the disabilities and the limitations are not what I see. Instead, I see someone who finds a joy in everything, including dinnerware, and approaches every day with a big smile on his face. To this day, he's never been able to play sports, go to school, or do many of the things that I get to do. But to this day, he's always been able to find the happiness in the little things and the beauty in the ordinary. He's my little brother, my best friend, and my much needed reminder to be where my feet are. Even when we're not together, I carry him and everything he's taught me with me. And sometimes when I see sets of two, I'm reminded of what really matters. I love you, Tommy.